I do, folks? How are you doing? Just a quick one. A quick one on due diligence, I believe, we can start with. I uh, don't know if we'll end up bouncing, you never know. But, uh, yeah, as you all know, I kind of do my due diligence, and it's uh, one of the things um, that I have with everybody else that should be doing due diligence, because somewhere on this journey of uh, learning and knowledge, gaining knowledge, um, you learn what you've been told a few times along the way but don't fully comprehend um, and that is that you, you have to do this yourself you have to have a full comprehension of what you're doing um, <coughs> now it's as I say throughout you always think you're looking for the shortcuts but in your search for these shortcuts what you're actually doing is gaining the knowledge and then what you believe you find as a shortcut is actually just a jump in your knowledge that takes you to another place and another level, which usually changes everything that you'd learned before. It becomes useful knowledge, but now not relevant because the next stage you've learned is uh, more powerful, more important, and uh, basically has more weight or whatever. You learn better ways as you go along. But the old point is, as you're doing this and you're doing it yourself, you're actually not just gaining the experience, you're gaining the confidence. But there's a really important fact which I've not mentioned and has always been there in my head but I've not really considered it until recently when uh, my wife offered to do a bit of filing for me because I keep saying I got so many fucking notices and so many receipts and I, I need to do a full count up and she says I'll do a bit of filing for you if you want. So she sat down and she didn't realise what she was getting into. Um, and what it turned out is what she's done on each line She's written uh, on the computer, but on the Word document, but on each line, she's written the name of who's been served, the uh, special delivery notice number, the date, and basically what it was about, and basically doing a little filing system for me. But as she's gone down so far, she's halfway through and got six pages <laughs> of affidavits of truth that have been served. <laughs> <laughs> Even I had no idea it's gone this far. Um, but there's six pages of these affidavits of truth that are all accepted as truth and judgment at law through acquiescence, which creates a binding contract. Silence is acquiescence. Now, when I say to people I'm, I'm seriously, overwhelmingly evidenced, uh, I am, and all these notices have all been taken care of one aspect of my life or another, whatever I felt relevant. I have got OCD with it, and any opportunity to serve one of them, I do, evidently. And this is my own little personal OCD, and I wouldn't expect anybody to be like this. But, however, throughout this, I'm seeing this, six pages, only about halfway. This is gonna be a lot, and can you imagine putting all this on paper, stapling it together, labeling it Annex A <laughs> and then that goes in to show your level of you handling your affairs your due diligence and evidence in 100% there has been no acquiescence on your part and evidence in 100% this is the amount of acquiescence on your fucking part so you're talking free will intent um, your faith, these sort of things can never, ever, ever be interfered with. Well, what I've built up is quite a, quite a bundle of my own free will and intent and faith. And it's unshakable. It couldn't ever be denied. Now, the difference between standing in their realm as, uh, as the person and not evidencing yourself and standing actually as a man and being able to stand as a man with the paperwork and the knowledge to back that up. Now there's no setting whatsoever. With this paperwork, I don't believe there's anything with the law that I couldn't do. Because at any point, all of these documents can be put forward as one bundle against the Crown. With all of this acquiescence evidenced, now you hear sometimes judges go, oh, I won't, I won't be accepting that in evidence. We're not talking about those sort of courts here. This is equity. It can't be denied. A judge denies you your affidavits of truth. Are you denying me justice? 
there's no, and it's as simple as that. Are you denying me justice? Because if he's denying you all of your evidence, he's denying you justice, at that point he personally becomes liable and now your claim is on him for everything you wanted from the Crown. And he's going to lose. He is going to lose. You're dealing with a much higher level once you go up to these levels. Now when you start dealing with the magistrates, you shouldn't ever walk into one of those places of business and you should learn why and you should learn how. That's your own journey. And I don't mean a thousand of you fucking ask me. That's a journey. Learn. There's things to learn. You start on this journey. You learn all this. You've got to get on these ladders to start progressing and climbing up there. You can only go shortcuts on jumps in knowledge. You can't go shortcuts from no knowledge to the end result. The end result requires you, you to stand there be it in a court setting or just in constant responses and constant handling your own affairs like this is when, a, when we get a final count when she gets to the end you will know but at the minute it's well in excess of a hundred or it's going to be well in excess of a hundred I haven't asked her what, the, what number she's up to but uh, I'm not saying you should all do that but you should all be doing your own due diligence and if you can't do any of that at all not even one single notice there's no way in the world you could ever attain the end result because the end result is going to come down to your knowledge. Whatever your end result is, it's going to come down to your knowledge, your own knowledge, not somebody else's. Now it can be my knowledge that you've learnt from what I say and you've picked things up and other folks that you learn and that's, that's assimilating things into your own intellectual property. That's your knowledge now, it's not somebody else's knowledge might have come from somebody else <clears throat> but it's your knowledge and anybody standing there go oh that's mine now you stole my knowledge I have heard that so much so and so stole my knowledge fuck off you idiot stole your knowledge if you give it you gave it freely if somebody heard it and fucking used it it's theirs just don't be ashamed to rape steal and take anything from anybody else's work or information and assimilate it into your own but the important factor is assimilating it into your own because if you just take templates and you just send templates off you have learned absolutely nothing and I mean nothing and I promise you because I see so many that I've seen for years and years and years still working off others templates and not actually knowing anything and that's because they haven't made that journey they haven't learned because <clears throat> once you start writing it to folks you're setting it in concrete it's in your head now it's there and it's always there. And every time you write something else, you're researching something. Now don't just say things. If you're writing a notice to somebody and it's high up and you're trying to actually create something, make performance happen, you've got to give evidence to what you say. Right? Like, you can't do that to me isn't good enough. You can't do that to me because of this. And this is what Ellsbury's Law says about it. This is what Bouvier's or fucking whatever. Um, Miriam Webster's whoever you want to say this is who that says about it you need to point to something to say this is why you can't do that to me and then you're evidencing it and what you're also doing as well as well as evidencing it you're putting them in absolute dishonor whereby if they don't acknowledge or ignore that isn't a bad thing you know people think oh I did that and I didn't get a response fantastic that is acceptance in full. It was an affidavit of truth. They accepted it. I know we'd all love a little letter saying, yes, I accept in full everything you say, and yes, of course you're right, and we forgive everything. They don't do that shit. They ignore it. And ignorance is acquiescence. Acquiesce silence is acquiescence. So there you go. You've, you've already got it. It's just you don't know what to do for the next step. And that's where the journey comes in. And this is all the way where you'll send something, get no response with, that didn't work. And then you'll walk with that. It's a bloke, so cunt, he told me that I'd work and it didn't work. Yes, it did. You didn't fucking work. You didn't recognise the fact that you sent an affidavit of truth off. And after only a fucking month, it became truth and judgment at law. And if you were sensible, you put 14 days, you were only allowing them actually 14 days to respond. You can put within that. Uh, and after 28 days they didn't respond so they didn't only have 14 days anyway so the reality is you've already won you just didn't know your next step you can bang an opportunity to cure you can default them 
that is semantics you can not as well at the end of the day you stand in equity as a uh, as a living flesh and blood man or woman you know you're not following any procedure rules the CPRs are out the fucking window it's uh, it's absolutely ridiculous to think that you can stand as a man or a woman you are the power yet you're gonna have somebody else to you dictate to you how you're going to do what no oh they won't allow that well I want the man and woman's name who said no because they're denying me justice oh if you go for your multi-million pound fee schedules they want hundred thousand pounds or whatever they fucking want out of you to put your claim in bollocks do they you haven't got a clue how to stand on your own fucking uh, on your on your own fucking uh, status if you think that you've got to pay for justice. Because you don't pay for justice. You pay for business. You pay for corporations to do business. We don't do that. You stand in your in your own knowledge of who you are. You're the beneficiary for fuck's sake. The beneficiary pay to get justice. <laughs> no no but and it is simple but you've got to go on the journey you've got to start the journey because if you don't start the journey you're never going to work your way through to learning how to do these things you want the answer to how to how to do k but you don't know how to do fucking a b or c yet and if you knew how to do a b or c you'd want the fucking the answer to t or v but it doesn't work that way because you have to build up the knowledge in between and you can't say to somebody like me teach me there's years of knowledge I've got to download you all we can do is point you right now at the minute at the best time in the fucking history of this knowledge to actually learn it because there is so much true and correct knowledge out there buried within an awful lot of shit as well but there's some real serious knowledge and processes coming out and getting out there that you could be just learning and that is in effect the shortcuts but you don't want to learn it still you want it given to you and that is always the downfall that is why you will never know what you're doing and you'll never progress because you're always looking for the answer to be given to you so you can send it off without even reading it or if you do read it it's a once skim through read and I, I bet most people that I've done things for haven't even took a copy of it or well, they just send it off well where's your copy what if you want to hold them to a can how do you put your copy up and say this is what I sent them on this date here's the delivery thing and here's the copy of, of what I sent if you haven't got a copy then uh, what are you showing them if you're just going to print it off your computer and say look this is what I sent them they're going to say no oh, you've just printed that off your computer <laughs> It's not signed, there's no thumbprint on it, there's no this, that or the other, however you uh, finish off your documents. Um, you haven't, I don't know, you just printed something off a computer, you could have wrote that up yesterday. <laughs> you have to be able to prove that you sent it to them, which means you need a copy of what you've sent them. So, folks, the world is a paper world. If your paperwork's in order, you have one. And really, that's all down to your due diligence. Your due diligence makes sure your paperwork is in order, which makes sure you win. If you don't do your due diligence, now if you're following a process where you send a notice off and then you're, you're going to be sending an opportunity to cure and a default notice off, I see this over and over again, folks say to me, oh, they've sent this back. Well, did you send an opportunity to cure? No, you didn't tell me to. What do you mean I didn't tell you? I told you right at the start, you need to send an opportunity to cure 14 days later. Oh yeah, but you didn't say it 14 days later. Well, that's fucking got to do with me. I'm fucking busy with somebody else's shit by now. I told you what you need to do. You know, and everybody's telling you what you need to do at all stages when you're looking at it at the world at the minute and the information out there. Everybody's telling you what to do, but nobody's doing it because there's no due diligence. You're not doing it yourself. You're, all, again, waiting for somebody else. Now, if somebody was good enough to write you a notice, it's not their responsibility to tell you when 14 days are up and to tell them to send an opportunity to cure. So, uh, I'm sure they've told you in the first place to do it, or you know to do it, but if you don't bother doing that stage, you haven't followed any process, so what you're doing again is just 
doing something and nothing to start off with and not following through and not setting it in stone, not, not knowing how to handle it. And this is again where folks are going wrong. Now at the minute there's a lot of shields out there and I'm seeing some that folks uh, are believing are the heavy hitters really cashing in and uh, sending people down real fucking wrong routes on this shit. I, I'm not going to name and shame at this stage because I believe it's all evident. I believe it's folks not doing the due diligence again because you just again you'd rather somebody who's giving you hope who's some than somebody who's telling you you've got to fucking sort your shit out and learn some shit. And I've spent years doing it for everybody and now obviously everybody sees a massive change in me recently. And there has been a total realignment of my attitude towards everything because I've realised, a long time ago I realised you had to do it yourself, but I was still stuck in this situation where a lot of folks I've helped don't know how to do it themselves and they're halfway through shit they don't know how to do. So I've had to keep going and then more shit's come in and my soft ass nature. But I've had to get fucking tough because it's no good. People keep saying, oh I don't want you to do it, but deep down inside they absolutely do. And I only want you to advise me when really they want me to do it. And I want you to look at this, and I don't want you to do out to it. Just have a look at it and tell me if it's right or wrong when they're sending me something that they know damn well is absolutely ridiculous. So I have to do it. And I just can't do all this anymore. And it's not against you lot. I know you all have to do whatever you can possibly think of doing to get done what you need to get done. But the big thing you're missing is the one thing that you really need to be doing, not the thing that you think you need to be doing, because the thing you think you need to be doing is just finding the solution to this small problem. What you really need to be doing is finding the solution to the whole fucking cattle, don't you? The whole bag of shite. You need to be learning to take care of these things yourself, so when somebody comes and attacks you, you can sit down for a couple of hours and just deal with your issue rather than somebody else be giving every hour that they've got to just be trying to constantly keep on top of a mountain of problems that they can't possibly keep on top of. It's due diligence and it is down to you. And that isn't a selfish thing as like leave me alone sort of thing. That's, that's the God's genuine thing. You've got to learn. Because you learning is your only real solution, it's your only remedy, it's the only way out of this. You standing on your own knowledge, being able to not only bounce back any claims, but actually go to get your remedy or to go get what you require out of this system. Or to even learn that there's a proverb there, if you don't get granted remedy you can make your own. So learn what that means. and. What does it mean make me own? And it don't mean just go and try and make some money at all costs doing whatever you can think of doing. That isn't what that means. And the journey will teach you what that means. And I promise you, it really will teach you what that means. Now, for quite a long time, I've known exactly the paths I need to be taking. And I've just put them to one side. And I've uh, been helping others. Just constantly putting everything into others. My realignment of my own... Uh, my own attitudes and my own priorities is going to put me back on the path of handling my own affairs further which takes things to to further heights and obviously everybody around benefits from that but I promise you if you haven't learned A, B or C you won't understand a fucking word I'm saying when I'm talking about the last letters in the alphabet or even the mid ones I promise you this is why you're, you're glued to watching these personable folks on these uh, YouTube videos that blow smoke up your arse and stand there saying these things that you have no fucking clue what they're saying and they depend on that. You don't do your own due diligence. They have got a YouTube fucking subscribe list full of folks who aren't getting any benefit whatsoever out of what they're saying and they know that. They're not getting any benefit of it because they have no comprehension of what's being fucking said. And they know that. That's not their goal. Their goal is never to inform. Their goal is never to help you move forward. 
my goal's always been that, and I'm not blowing smoke up your or my own ass with saying that. Everybody who knows me absolutely knows that, and everybody knows the problems I've always faced with trying to keep a control of the flow of it. But in this journey of mine, I have come to this realization, which is exactly where this change of attitude has come from, that these words that I've always known that you have to know yourself, you, you have to know who you are, you have to know the trust, you have to know what it is, you have to know the positions within it, you have to know what commerce is going on with the trust, you have to know how to handle your own affairs, have to, how to conduct yourself within this trust. These are all the things you need to know. And without this knowledge, you have no ability other than to solve small little world issues, as I call them, small world issues, these little claims that are coming for you. They're not the issue. If you're just wrapped up in those small claims, you're being distracted. There's a much bigger issue at hand, and there's your journey. And that journey you must take. We're all here to help, but you've got to be on that journey. Because telling folks like me, I am learning and I'm doing this, and then having a conversation with me and showing me you know absolutely nothing that you should know at your level, that just shows me, and it doesn't matter to me if you're not learning, but it shows me that you're not actually learning and you're blowing smoke up me as trying to get something by saying I am learning. And many, many start out that way. And blowing smoke up my ass isn't going to help anybody. It, it don't work because you're not learning anything. No matter how much you say it, you're not doing it. You're not getting anywhere. You're not progressing. You're not being able to handle your own affairs at any stage in this. No matter how many folks do so much for you, some point in your life, you're going to be way above your own station, way above any level you can operate at, and out in the cold. And that's a scary place to be. And that's only because you just relied on other folks all the time. You've got to learn. Now, come on, folks. I've nearly ended this video a couple of times, but hey, it's, it's important that you, you not only get what I'm saying, but you get where I'm coming from with it. And we're a place of love and, and the hope that, that folks will get that part, because it's a really, really important part that many folks along the way will point out to you that you have to do it yourself but nobody really explains to you why and how it's important but within this system of honour you are evidencing who you are you're evidencing your free will you're evidencing your intent how honourable is it really to have others evidence that for you <laughs> so it is really really important for your end results that you have a full comprehension of everything that's done for you and everything that you do along the way and if you're just bouncing from somebody helping you from one problem to another you've just decided that, that your remedy is have somebody there to help you and you've just decided that, that that guy or gal is going to be there for the rest of your life to help with every single issue no matter how often they come no matter how big they are and no matter how much stress or trouble they cause you've just decided that that's now their responsibility. It isn't. And this is why another reason why it's so important. But the bottom line, if you want anybody within the judiciary or the court system to take you serious, it needs to come from there. Absolutely needs to come from you. They know a template when they see it. They know somebody else's work when they see it. They know the level you're at because they see you. It's all plain to those because they know they're educated in that system, in the deceit system, but also the law. They do know the law, although they're not trained in the law. They know what they have to avoid, and that is the stuff that we use, which is the law. They know exactly how to avoid it and how to put you off and how to make you think that they haven't took any notice of it, so you will go away. They know how to intimidate. They know how to misrepresent, and they, they know how to mislead you. You don't know what they're doing. If you don't know that, you don't know who you are, you can't see what they're doing. You lose anyway, so you get somebody else to do a load of shit, and then you're going to fuck it all up, and uh, you're going to blame the work done, when in reality, it's because you didn't have a fucking clue how to stand on it. 
So again, these are the important factors of it, and this is why it's important that you really know your shit. And it is all there. And there are folks like me that will be happy to point you in right directions. And, and that means when we see you going in the right direction, we're quite well, don't, yeah, don't take it as, oh, uh, he's correcting me. Take it as like nudging you in the right direction, keeping you in line. But uh, you've got to learn. And I am going to finish this video now. <laughs> but folks, do your due diligence. Step up. You have to, have to put your effort in. This is your fucking payment. This is what it costs. Nothing is free in this world. Pay the price, study, learn, and then know. Ta-da! <laughs>